Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Cousin Shane is back on set. Woo! Hi, Dummies! Cousin Shane! We got us a High West. Which one? Woo, rendezvous rye, baby. It's heavy with the rye. 95.5. What are we going to do? I'm going to test it! Test it! Test it! That's the winner. All right, we're in. Let's pour it. Now, what High West. Doing? What? Cousin Shane is in the house. Hi, everybody! I think at some point in time, we are finally going to get to hear the uh, your rating system. Now, you've been asking me to put one together. Yeah. Cousin Shane has a very interesting rating system. Very. Descriptive. So we will get the actual colorful. breakdown of that here in a little bit. More, more How about a Scotch God shout out? Ooh, do it. Hit it. Bryce Mullins. Oh, Bryce. Love now, he was watching some old reviews, and he went back to our Brook Lottie, the classic Lottie, mm. and the light blue bottle and yeah, solid. baby blue seafoam. One of the things we talked about was, or I talked about, was I didn't like the bottle because you can't tell how much that is true. whiskey is left in there. Even if you hold it up to the light, you can't see. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, Bryce commented, he says, Unseable. if you shine a flashlight or a phone light into the bottle, uh, you can see the level of the whiskey. The label is somewhat transparent with light shining inside. So then it would light up the whiskey from the inside. I was going to say it sounds tell. like a lot of trouble, but I like the addition of the phone of your light on your phone. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard. You know how to turn yours on? Barely. <laughs> but, I mean, think about it. Finding a flashlight can sometimes, I mean, do you really want to go right. find it? But yeah. if you got one right on your phone. Yeah. Phones do everything. You got a flashlight in your bar here somewhere? No. This I love you, perfect. fellas, but half the time I come over here, I think you've been drinking already. Well, put too much trouble into the uh, just drinking whiskey. We put too much trouble into just drinking. Well, <laughs> if, if, if it was just you, we'll do one with just you and you won't talk. You just drink and be like, mm, and then I'll, you'll sing hallelujah. And people are like, we love it. <laughs> That's it. That's the new show format. Less talk, more drink and sing. Mm. I can do that. You All right, could. so from Salt Lake City, <laughs> High West. Via Indiana. Rendezvous Rye, which is a blend of straight rye whiskeys. Right. right. I believe so. I was just reading a very great article that we will go into hopefully more later. I'd love to get someone from MGP on our live show. But uh, High West sources their rye from MGP in Indiana. And then they do some cool blending. Park City, Utah, not Salt Lake City. Got Sorry. it. I'm sure it's close. Uh, that smells good. 46% ABV. Yeah, it's got a very powerful nose on it. That's kind of like some peats do. When you pour a peat, you can smell it sitting here. When you was pouring this, I could smell it. Right. Mm. It's like a rye drink. It's a great sweet, now, great sweet rye. Right. Now, Cousin Shane has been here. We've done a couple ryes. Just coincidentally, we're not necessarily timing it when you're here. <laughs> How do you know? I do you, like rye whiskey. You like rye whiskey, don't I you? I do. And this is very good. Very sweet. A very mm. sweet. Nice spice. Dill pickle. Orange zest. Yeah. Lemon. Right. I get an orange zest and I get a lemon. Mm. My Maybe favorite. Cherry. My favorite part is when it just grabs your tongue. Mm. <laughs> That's what rye does. I, I like love it. rye. Strong, strong, powerful rye. Mm. So, mm. Mm. nice honey, citrus sweetness actually. Mm. And I just tasted this. I didn't take notes on it. Mm. I was very impressed with it, though. Some of the high west to me are, are better. I mean, naturally, some stand out. Some have been okay. Our palates have actually been a little bit different on some of them. Yeah. You've liked some of them that I haven't, and right. I like some that you don't necessarily care for. It's always good. I get a little popcorn butter cream finish. Finish drops off a little sooner than I would have thought. Lingering around a little bit of the uh, burnt caramel. Black pepper spice at the end. Getting that black pepper. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. <clears throat> Not real strong, though. Hides that ABV well. Yeah, 46%. So, um, I mean, I love it right at the 46, but it feels, I was thinking, man, is this a 43? I mean, it felt, it felt almost, I was thinking, surely it's not a 40. 
So 46 is perfect. I'd like them 46, 48, get, it, get us into cash strength uh, up around the 50s are good. But this is a really nice 46%, really smooth. I don't get a lot of the sharp bite on the forefront, though. Yeah. Oak and caramel. Yep, it's sweet on the front, and it's spicy on the back. I like it. Mm. Kind of yeah, like I my wife. <laughs> I definitely get a cracked pepper in the middle. Mm. I don't get as much of the dill, though. I don't really get a dill mm. like I do from their from the MGP Dickel. I should call it the Dickel. So... Because there's a lot of things sourced from MGP. Templeton rye out of Iowa. Um, the Dickel rye, Tennessee. They actually will send up their uh, charred maple uh, all the way up to MGP for that final Lincoln County process. Mm. My understanding is, and I don't know all of it, but they do, it's got the 95.5 in it from MGP, which is 95% rye and then I think 5% corn, maybe a little bit of barley in I was just thinking it would have been, I think, February 4th on Sunday, Mark Gillespie's Whiskey Cast podcast. Mm -hmm. He had on uh, one of the MGP guys. Working. It was a great interview. Forget his first name, but his last name was Working. So, yeah, that go watch that or Barely. listen to that. Hmm? Barely. Barely Working? No, I that think Massively thing? Working would be his name. So Kind of. <laughs> mm. Funnily. This is a good rye. Uh, High West did, did, does a good job with the rendezvous rye. Right? I like to bring bring them down with water, but now this thing doesn't need it. Right, Very cinnamon, smooth. good cinnamon. I do get that. A little bit of a, the ginger. Here. Sometimes like you get the ginger, extract. the ginger rye. Hmm. I'm feeling its own. What are you Hold feeling? on just a second. Let me score this mm. bad boy. <clears throat> and I think online, I remember when I read the article on MGP, they talked about Rendezvous Rye that is, is blended with another rye, but I can't remember if they even named what it was. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, all it says a blend of straight rye whiskeys. Yeah. Eighty-seven. Well, he's going higher than that. The way he's talking. Mm -mm. The finish is a little different for me, mm. and I like a little bit more. I wish it had a little bit more spark. I mean, it's smooth. I think it's a good kind of intro for rye drinkers. Um, what do you got? I wouldn't say it's a good intro for rye drinker, drinkers just because of the price point. Price only $51, though. That's not that bad. I mean, yeah, you can go get uh, some for 30 35 So, I mean, I hear what you're saying. Now, your rating system is unique mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. You can feel where that rating system is when you say it. And some people may not be used to some of the phrases you use to rate. You do not let <laughs> is it safe to say you don't use a one through hundred system like we do. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Do you even uh, use the her... number system? No. New. No. All right. No. Share. Well I mean I've I've kind of been on some other shows and I've you know I've you start at the top and you work your way down. So my top of all time is sunshine on your bare bottom. So your not your highest rating would be sunshine on your it's bare better. bottom. You'd say this whiskey it's is better, better than sunshine, sunshine on your bare, bare bottom. bottom. All right. So this so you've so used that one. Yeah. I've used that one. Mm -hmm. This whiskey is better than sunshine on your bare bottom would be like your highest praise. Yeah. All right. Dare then, we call it a number one? Um. You don't want a number on it at all. No. Okay. No numbers. No. All right, so then what would be... And it's more of a feeling. <laughs> it's just a more of a feeling that you get. I mean, you walk outside, and your neighbors get all pissed <laughs> off at you, and you just feel that warm glow on your bottom. <laughs> That's kind of what this is doing to my tongue, is that warm glow. But then you've Bombs got... and tongues. Then you've got HNFT. 
And mm -hmm. HNFT stands for Happy Naked Fun Time. Mm -hmm. Y'all hopefully should know about that. <laughs> so, but then there's a sliding scale. I mean, you got a low HNFT that's just kind of, you know, just going through the motions, doing the weekly. <laughs> Happens every once Just in a doing while. the weekly, yeah. making sure everything's it into working the right. And just, you know, all the I'm pipes are cleaned out. Gotcha. And okay. then you go up to the top of that, which is HNFT on your birthday. On your birthday. Mm -hmm. We've established then you get, in a past show, because I think I asked... Why would birthday be better? Well, you get special stuff. <laughs> stuff that doesn't come around, but once a year. Exactly. <laughs> and then you just got your right in the middle, HNFT, which is good. I mean, that's just, that's that's rock solid, good session, everybody's happy. Well, you could just have below that one notch, then would be naked fun time. Oh, huh? so naked fun time. Happy. Yeah. 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 No, I'm happy. Fun no, I, you should be happy every time. It's not quite as happy. It's just not quite as just happy. Just naked fun time. <laughs> yeah. Playing checkers. That's better than naked fun time. Yeah, you know, the difference naked. between, you know, just, yeah. like I said, just running through the motions. All right, so there's a sliding <laughs> scale in there. We got the, the birthdays, the high end of the HNFT. Mm -hmm. And then I like Giggle Wiggle. <laughs> giggle Wiggle's fun. I've heard this one, but it's not just Giggle Wiggle. Mm -hmm. You with say, mama. yeah, you well, yeah, it's giggle wiggle with mama. Okay, well, I, I wasn't sure if you just had well, a giggle. Who, I, who else am I supposed to I giggle know. wiggle I thought, with? Thought, when you said get narrow minded wiggle, about that kind of thing, maybe it was more. Is of your like, wife getting narrow minded about that I idea of giggle wiggle with somebody else? Toward, let's just say drinking whiskey alone. <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't then, sure, uh, wasn't sure. Uh, uh, I'd go underneath that with. Uh, <laughs> mm, Bird feeder would have been gun. <laughs> That's a good time. I don't care who you are. Hold and on. then PETA just got pissed right there. There was like a PETA fan. It was like, what did he say? You know what no, PETA mean? No birds were filmed in, or hurt in the film into this. You thing. know what PETA what, mean? What is people PETA? eating tasty animals? That's oh, what that means. Boy. <laughs> right there. And then. Um, so uh, a BB gun with a bird feeder. Sitting next to it. Bird feeder with a BB gun. Sitting, sorry, I had it all backwards. Yeah. All right, sitting next to a bird. Hanging out, a BB gun. waiting for something to happen. <laughs> and then happen. Uh, playing with a pack of firecrackers. Now that's at the low end? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. So I mean, I still, like firecrackers. But. Right, still sparky, still a little bit fun, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any? What if you got, is that mediocre then? Yeah, it's, okay. it's, you know, it's, it's a good day. What if you get a bad... Like you don't enjoy it. I hand you a, a, a super peated ashtray scotch, and you're like, ugh. I love it, but you were like, ugh, because mm -hmm. you don't really like the peat as much, do you? It's like kissing mama in the morning. <laughs> oh, she's had a chance to get in there and she uh, a smoker? clean stuff up. No, <laughs> okay. but I don't know what she does in the hours when, when we're uh, when we're sleeping. <laughs> I got a couple of dogs on her side of the bed. I'm not sure what occurs, but something ain't right. You think you're kissing? <laughs> something ain't right. Something. And it wakes me up. Something. Woo! <laughs> and it just hangs on the tongue, and it ain't a good thing. <laughs> so what is that one again? Because he lost me. I was just, I was, I was like. Well, kissing in the, kissing mama in the morning. Kissing mama in the morning. <laughs> Before so she's had a chance whiskey. to clean stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go, people. There's 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 a rating system for you. It's oh. more of a feel than whatever comes out. It's, that's it. I mean, right. you I've, can't can't really hold me to it. It's all right. I mean, I say sunshine on your bare bottom when I'm really really happy. Hmm. And HNFT is a good thing. I was just surprised sunshine on your bottom was the top end. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. No, wait, a minute. I think you skipped one though. Giggle with playing Ooh. giggle wiggle with mom. No, that was a good one too. That. Did you bring that one up? Yeah. Kind of blanked out there, didn't you? Oh, well, I might have too. I think <laughs> I, I got stuck with the whole yeah, giggle wiggles good the morning thing. Giggle oh, wiggle, yeah. me. giggle wiggle, wiggle, mama. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm no, sure. Wait, that's what got us on the whole oh I'm, doing the drinking hey, alone I, thing. When it comes to memory oh. exercises, <laughs> I usually lean towards Scott. <laughs> I'll be like, have we actually even given a rating on Ronda? Mm. Hey, let's, no let's knock out a traveling right. dummy real quick. Oh, and it is worth. Uh, and I bought this for fifty-two dollars oh. for those that want. Yes, it's worth it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, you like it for beginners. I think it's. I think it's a little more. I like my rise to punch me in the face and just be mm -hmm. wild. For a rendezvous a raw, it, it rye, It's smooth. It's not as wild as I like it. Mm. Like wild in with. My I think maybe your taste buds are off a little bit this morning. No. So you're just, you're just saying it's an HNFT. It's a good thing, but it ain't on your birthday. Well, I don't know if I Maybe can just jump into the system. Hmm? Just naked fun just time. Naked what are you saying? 
I can't believe you, anybody would ever have fun time naked and not be happy about it. I agree full heartedly <laughs> with you. <laughs> We're just going to go with yes with you. All right. <clears throat> Traveling dummy. All right. Whiskey. By the way, we need some of these. Keep sending us in. If you've got some of the merch, hat, shirt, hat, coin, glass, shirt, shirt, <laughs> send, send us photos. We virtually travel with you. Coins. Coins. Didn't mention coins, which we're out of. We are totally out. We got probably cast by three the time coming. this airs. Yeah, they'll cast be in. Three will they'll be, be in. in. So you're throwing it up. Boom. Boom on Instagram. Whiskey Wings, and he's in the UK. I mm -hmm. think he's in London, but right. he's in London here yeah. for his for his post. Right. He's at. Um, I believe he works at, at Milroy's of Soho in London. No, he does not work there. Okay. At Milroy's. No, just in London. Oh, in London. Gotcha. In London. <laughs> But he's in Milroy's of Soho, and he's got his uh, Scotch Test Dummies uh, Cask 2 Challenge coin sitting there on his glass right there in the bar. I like his grip. The thumbs up in the air like he's giving it a thumbs up while yep. he's drinking. And well, he's, hold, he's making sure he doesn't drop that glass. I like it. It's a thumbs up. Love the dummies is what I think it is. Yep. So, love it. Stay safe, brother. So, all right. Cool. What else we got? <clears throat> but, well, Cousin Shane usually sings when he's on. That is true. Usually, you, got well, maybe, you know, we well, should have seen I what Shakes Bennington was doing today. I don't know. We should have. He's probably little, practicing his guitar. guitar. He's today. probably practicing. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta have old Shakes on. Although Shakes will be back along with Cousin Shane for our Twelve Hours of Boom, which we believe almost one hundred percent will be July seventh. Right? Should be barring July any. 7th. Uh, exigent circumstances. Real we life, planning. real life could step in. So we haven't actually like nailed it in stone, <clears throat> right? But that's the point. Last year was July eighth. We were looking at the calendar. And we said, well, this year, July seventh is Sunday. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's penciled in. It's penciled. You know what happens with a pencil? You, you can, can erase, erase it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a tune, <laughs> brother. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, and I know you of old. You wrap my poor pockets of silver and gold. It's a rent whiskey, you villain. You've been my downfall. You kicked me, you cuffed me, but I love you for all. It's a whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I think I will die. I eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. If the hard times don't kill me, I'll lay down and die. And I'll tune up my fiddle, and I'll rosin my bow, and I'll make myself welcome wherever I go. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If a tree don't fall on me, I'll live till I die. Woo! Mm. Well done. Well played. I like me some rye whiskey. That's good. All right. It's an American. <laughs> scotch it. You scotch gods. Salon shot. Dummies. Salon shot, dummies! Dummies. 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 Dummies.